Lit Suite Importing Evidence. This video tutorial will cover importing evidence. We are using iPad OS 14 and TrialPad for this video, but the same process and steps can be applied to our other apps. It is important to know where your iPad stores your case files to prevent your iPad from using your data allowance by constantly uploading and downloading changes to your case and to make sure your cases are always available, even when you have no internet access. You should change the document storage setting for the apps. Open the iPad Settings app. Scroll down to TrialPad. And change the document storage setting to On My iPad. You should also do this for Transcript Pad and Doc Review Pad. When you launch any of the LitSuite apps, you should be presented with Apple's Document Manager. This screen will be familiar to anyone who's used one of Apple's native apps, like Pages or Keynote. On the left side of the screen is the sidebar, showing a list of locations available to import files from. This is where you'll see your On My iPad and iCloud Drive storage locations, and any cloud storage providers you may have installed, such as Box, Citrix Files, Dropbox, Google Drive, or Microsoft OneDrive. Press the More Options button at the top to edit the sidebar to turn on or off, or reorder your storage locations. If you don't see the cloud storage provider of your choice, go to the App Store app on your iPad to download and install its app on your device. If you're importing evidence from a USB drive, it will appear in the list of locations once it's connected. At the top of the Document Manager window, you'll see buttons for the Settings, where you can change various preferences. And Messages, where we may post important notifications. To the right is the Plus button to create a new case file. And the Help button to access various support resources. Under Help, you'll see a button for Help Center and FAQs, which is a new resource that will be continually updated with support articles and videos to help you get the most out of your apps. The Select button is used to select files to perform other functions, such as Share, Move, or Delete. And you can press and hold on a file or folder to see other options. Although you can store your case file on any of the cloud storage providers, it is our best practice recommendation to create and work on case files in the On My iPad location, so your cases are always available even when you have no internet access. To create a new case file, tap on Recents, then press the plus button at the top. Tap on the empty case file template. Enter a case name when prompted and press OK. Once you've created and named a new case file, the app will open to an empty case without any evidence. We will cover the user interface and features of each app in separate app-specific video tutorials. To import documents, press on the plus button at the bottom left, then tap on Import Documents. The popover that appears is Apple's Document Picker, where you can access files from any of your cloud storage providers. Browse to a location. Press the More Options button and then Select. Tap on the files you want to import and press Open. You will receive an Import Complete confirmation when the files have finished importing. If you're working in TrialPad, the same process can be used to import video or audio files into the Multimedia tab. Press the plus button at the bottom left and choose Import Multimedia.
To import folders, press the plus button at the bottom left, then tap on Import Folder. You can import a folder from On My iPad or iCloud Drive or a connected USB drive. But Apple's Files app does not allow folders to be imported from third-party cloud storage providers, such as Dropbox. You can get around this limitation by compressing the folder into a single zip file first. Do this by opening the Files app on your iPad. Tap on the third-party cloud storage provider and browse to the folder you want to import. Then tap and hold on the folder and choose Compress from the popover. This will create a single zip file of the folder, which you can then import using the Import Documents option. When this file is imported into TrialPad or Doc Review Pad, it will uncompress the files and reconstruct your file and folder structure within the app. If you're using a Mac running Mac OS 10.15, Catalina, or later, you can use the Finder to transfer files between your Mac and your iPad. See support.apple.com forward slash en dash us forward slash ht210598. If you're using a Mac running Mac OS 10.14, Mojave, or earlier, or a Windows machine. You can use iTunes file sharing to transfer files between your computer and your iPad. See support.apple.com forward slash en dash us forward slash ht201301.